Hello friends, in this video we will see three questions. First, what is substring function? Second, what is cell function? Third, what is translate function? We will see theory of all this question, but before that we have to see practical how this question is working. Okay, what will be the output? So can we move to first interview question? What is substring function? So if you see here, I already noted down, so I can cut it rest to question here and uh, we will execute the very first one before that first we have to comment what is substring function so as we know substring function is used to cut piece of string from a given string like here if you see Taj Mahal in India so you want substring which is started from 1 and end up to 8 so we will modify this query if I will run, see the value is Taj Mahal, output is Taj Mahal because it is started from 1 that means from T and end up to 8 that is L. If I wrote this like, if I will write this like as 9, 13, now execute it in India because 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, after that. 9 start from 9 up to 13 it will go entire thing clear it is now we will see the second one cell function what is cell function cell function is nothing but it will always give you upper value okay so if you see here cell 32.65 cell 32.65 49 cell 32.50 cell 32.10 from dual. If you will run this query, it will give you output 33, 33, 33 because cell function always give you first upper value. Okay, so here 32.65 it will be 33, 32.49 it will be 49, 32.50 it will be 33, 32.10 it will be 33. Clear now we will see the third one what is translate function so translate function is nothing but it will replace or translate your single number or character with given number of characters if i will run this query it will give you 5 6 bench per 7 8 because we have to replace 1 2 3 4 with 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 1, 2, 1 replaced by 5, 2 replaced by 6, 3 replaced by 7, 4 replaced by 8. So, if you run this query, it will give you output 5, 6, bench by 7, 8. Now, we will see second example. 1, 2, 3, 4, bench by 5, 6, 7, okay. So, we have to replace 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 with www dot dot il. Okay, so if we will run this query, 1, 2, 3 will replace by www because it is given here and 1 dot 4 replaced by 1 dot, 5 replaced by another dot, 6 replaced by i, 7 replaced by n. So it will execute successfully. Clear? So here we will see three query. First, what is substring? It is used to retrieve piece of string string in a given string what is cell function it will always give you upper value what is translate it will replace a given number single number with given piece of string or number clear now we will see theory of this what is regular expression count regular expression count is used to count a given character in a string how many times that character appears in a given string that we can count by using regular expression so we can see one example here select regular count expression Taj Mahal in India comma I that means we have to count how many times I appears in this given string Taj Mahal in India we will run this query and we'll see it is three times so where it is here it is first second and three if we run it if we want to count value a see four times 
okay if you want to count m only one times if we want to count t so the interview question will arise if your name your name like suppose my name narendra if interviewer ask you how many times a appears in his name narendra how will you count by using regular expression count clear it is okay a combination of row and column it has only one row and one column okay by default it has value x so we will select here we will first comment this select star from dual what will be the output x it has distinct value x if you want to suppose print my name narendra run it narendra if you want to print one two three one two three if you want to print sys date okay see if you see here the date is 4th of feb 2018 okay sys date sys date is a system date so dual table is nothing but a by default table created by oracle by default it has value x whatever you want to play with dual table you can play then without an issue suppose if you want to add number 2 plus 2 output 4 now 2 plus 2 into 4 what will be the output clear how it is first multiplication then addition minus 5 run it 5 clear how we can use dual table it is very important if you see a big PL SQL code like procedure function anything dual table they they are very important so you should understand what how we can play with dual table how can we we can use with dual table and blah blah things clear it is yeah one from dual union select a from dual what will be the output okay you try to you try to get output what will be the output if i will write a query select one from dual union select a from the dual i will give you hint a is a number that means it is it has data type number a is a character that means it has data type of varchar or character so if you run this query whether it will give you output or not no it will not give you output let's wait on this query see expression must have same data type as corresponding expression that means if you want to apply union in with dual or with any query then both data type that means data type in expression 1 and data type of expression 2 it must be same we run this query again see here expression must have same data type as corresponding expression now we will run this query it will give you output 1 we will run this query it will give output a now what we will do we will do here now we will run this query yeah it will give you value 1 and a why because we use single quote and if we use single quote then it number will convert will behave as a string so the first query has data type string that means varchar and second also has the data type string or varchar so this query will be run successful clear how it it is working now for example if suppose here it is one okay and you want to add something like two plus three now run this query one five you can do anything that's not an issue but data type should be same see the first value is negative second is positive but still it will give you value now now what we will do we have 2 plus 3 in one bracket now we will divide it by 0 let's see the value division is equal to 0 if we I mean you can understand this is very basic thing if you divide any number with 0 it will give you infinite okay 
so that is not on right now we will see only the data type mismatch and all okay so here if we put one comma a it will give you oh, sorry in your data identifier okay so it will give you one a and if you remove it so it will give you data type mismatch error okay expression must have same data type as corresponding data type so there will be two question like if you want to use union and union on the data type must have same remember clear it is basic concept of pl sql like execution block in which pl sql code will execute that start from begin and end okay so we will see here begin and this one is the main part of sql because everything whatever we want to execute or insert update delete whatever we want to play with table entire things of procedure function package within pl sql block so here will be declare section in which we can declare variable cursor or uh, define cursor anything okay and the last part is exception okay this one so now we will see only be begin end block and declaration and things we will see later if you see if we run this code only begin end it will show you error what is the error encounter the symbol end when expecting one of the following that means you cannot compile only begin end we need to something there is some value inside it or something so we put here null for example null we will run this query see the pl sql procedure successful completed see how sweet code it is how small piece of code it is begin null end it will give you pl sql procedure successful completed if we give here one it will so error why error because they need something one second there is some mistake yeah now it is working fine we have to select before running on oracle sql developer we have to select entire piece of code then we have to run okay so if you see now we will see something else but what we can do inside it like we will declare one variable id number or only number and now its data type is number okay before that we write here declare okay number begin and now in number we will give one plus two okay now we will run this query okay we are assigning this is variable which has data type number and we are assigning one plus two in that number now we will execute this this pl sql code see the pl sql procedure successful completed now we want to see output of number so what we will do we will write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line okay number clear here now we will run it again select all run it's compiled successful but we have we want to see value one plus two how much so to print value inside dbms output dot put underscore line we have to activate this how we will activate by using set server out put on okay we will run this one it's successful compile now what we will do we comment it now we run it see here okay i'll show you once again see value is 3 pl sql procedure successful compiled now we give some value 1 plus 2 
is equal to concatenate okay now we will run it see 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 clear clear it is if you want to give some space give here now we will run it see 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 clear how it is working you have good idea now same way we will see more videos in this video i will give you explanation how it is working or how it is not working okay next video interview question is what is replace function see the name itself indicate it is replacing something in a given string by using some another character string or number okay so we will see theory of this question also in later part now we will see practical i have a approximately one two three four five six seven questions we will run one by one and see the result if you see here select replace one two three one two three bench pay we have to replace one two three but we we are not provided here by what by what number character we have to replace that's why oracle automatically it consider it as default and it will remove like or it will give you null value so here replace one two three one two three bench pay it is replaced by one two three from dwell so output you will see here only bench pay now we will see second second is also same we will see third one select replace two 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 bench pay comma two comma three that means you have to replace two in this given string by three okay so we will run it see entire 2 2 is replaced by 3 3 3 clear now we will see this one we have to remove 0 or we have to replace 0 with null see this 0 0 is replaced by null value now it is clear how replace function is working if suppose I will give here a b c now run this query c it will give a b c bench pay a b c now it is clear replace function is used to replace a set of character or set of string a piece of string or piece of character in a given big string by using default value null value or given string if there is no third option by whom do you want to replace or string or character then oracle by default it will give you null in the replacement of that string clear this piece of code declare where where care to that means where is our variable okay it has data type where care to in we have to assign value one in the declaration part only so if you see here this is this is our variable data type and its value now this is our begin end block so if you see this is our variable where which we declare here and we are assigning again value to one if we will run this query yeah this PL SQL procedure successful compile but now we want to see value so remember how we will do set server out put on okay we will run this okay it's done now we will here or down here dbms underscore output dot put underscore line okay variable var run this see value one clear it is how it is coming now what we will do we will begin see 
our variable var has data type var cat two. So we can assign a also. Now we will run it. Now we will run. See the value a. Now what we will do? We will copy paste this, and we will write here also. See when we declare when we declare here variable var we are assigning value one begin now we will print this variable var and after that we are again assigning value one we will see what will be the output c one and a first while declaration we will give value var and after that we are replacing with a so we have both output clear it is how it is working yeah think about any idea we can do number of things in this without any okay suppose we want to add here where where okay now we will run c2 okay multiply by 5 see it is 6 how it is 6 because where 1 first multiplication 1 into 5 5 plus 1 clear it is you can do number of things you know clear if we continue it again with where c 61 clear it's magic kind of thing so you try to practice it here we will see how to create procedure okay so before creating we need to comment this code right now we will create or replace procedure name of procedure like test underscore pro okay as begin null end slash c this is very simple syntax of procedure create or replace procedure this is name of the procedure as or is begin the ps sql block null end okay why i am using create or replace if you see here why i am using create or replace because if you want to modify this procedure in future and at that time you will only create then it will give you error Create or replace means replace existing procedure. Do not remove grant, access, schema, other per permissions and all. Okay. That's why we are using create or replace. Now what I will do? I will just run it. See my procedure, pro procedure test pro compiled. That means this procedure is created. Now I can do anything. 1 plus 2 okay but we have to give some value so what we will do we'll declare one variable declare a number okay oh sorry we will declare a as number we assign value something no need to assign just declare it now we will give a equal to 1 plus 2 okay now we will compile it there is something error what is error a number what it is saying a data type number it will not take something okay let's give var cad clear and this number is given by you only as a input but how you will see this you will saw this program in java php python many scripting language or front-end language in vb.net okay and in sql query also if you want to max between uh, two numbers you will uh, by using max clause uh, or max aggregator aggregate function you can find definitely 
but if there is in ps equal then how you will find max between two number clear so here my two variables x and y okay we will give you user value into this two variable and we will find which is the larger number between x and y okay so this is my program i will explain you how it is working and how you can write this program the very first thing declare block of ps sql in which x and y are two variable x is number and y is also number data type of this two variable is number because we are going to compare between two values or we, we are going to find maximum number between two numbers okay now begin executable block of ps sql so x in which we will we will assign user input of value x same y in which we will assign user input of value y here is my condition as we know in every programming language condition is common like if else if else if decode case this all the conditional operators which are common if you know one programming language one scripting language in very well or with very good confidence you can learn anything okay so if you see here if x greater than y then we have to print large number is x else we have to print y dbms underscore output dot put underscore line this will print value on ps equal screen or on oracle screen okay now we will run this program hope you have clear understanding of this program if not i will repeat again declare x is a variable uh, x is a variable which has data type number y is also variable with data type number begin end in which we, we, we will take input from user user for x and same for y there is if condition if x greater than y then we have to print dbms underscore output dot put underscore line, line large number is x else dbms output dot put underscore line large number is y now we will run this program see here it is asking value for x and y because it is input value so for x suppose we are giving 12 okay for y we are giving here 15 now x has a value of 12 y has a value of 15 so which is greater y okay we will press here y and uh, see ps sql procedure successful completed but my friend we want value to be print on a screen so, so to printing the value it is here dbms output dot put underscore line but it will not print before that we have to write set server output on which will allow ps equal screen to print value also so we will write here set server output on ok we will run it now we will do this way and we will run this again see x has value 12 y has value 15 ok so large number is 15 clear ps sql procedure compile success full now it is clear now what we will do it opposite like this way now we will run it again we have x value 12 y value 15 ok we have to see large value is 12 ps equal procedure compiled now you think what we can do here now what we can do we will give some hard code value like 12 10 ok now as per logic x has value 12 y has value 10 x less than y x less than y no then it will become here like suppose we'll write here new value then there will be no confusion now we will run it see new value 
10 p n sql procedure successful new value 10 why new value 10 because in the if condition x less than y but x has value 12 y has value 10 which is wrong then it will go in else part so dbms output dot put underscore line new value component y it will print y clear it is okay so you can do practice such kind of questions and uh, we will move to next one
सो वेलकम इन फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वॉट इज सब स्ट्रिंग फंक्शन फ्रेंड्स दिस और फंक्शन अलाउ एक्सट्रैक्ट सब स्ट्रिंग फ्रॉम स्ट्रिंग वॉट इज स्ट्रिंग लाइक नरेंद्र इट इज स्ट्रिंग सब स्ट्रिंग मीन्स एन ए आर ई वन पार्ट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग हाफ पार्ट वन पार्ट ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग इज कॉल्ड सब स्ट्रिंग सो वी कैन रिपीट इट और एकल पी एल सिक्वल फंक्शन अलाउ एक्सट्रैक्ट सब स्ट्रिंग फ्रॉम स्ट्रिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिलेक्ट सब स्ट्रिंग ब्रैकेट सिंगल को ताजमहल इन इंडिया वन कॉमा एट अलाइज सब स्ट्रिंग फ्रॉम डुएल रिमेम्बर डुएल इज और एकल इन बिल्ड टेबल विच हैज वन कॉलम एंड वन रो वॉट इज द आउटपुट ताजमहल वाई द आउटपुट इज ताजमहल बिकॉज एज पर सब स्ट्रिंग यू हैव टू गिव स्टार्ट कैरेक्टर एंड एंड कैरेक्टर सो इफ यू सी इन द क्वेरी सब स्ट्रिंग ब्रैकेट ताजमहल इन इंडिया वन कॉमा एट सो इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन एंड एट एंड अप टू एट सो टी इज वन एंड टी ए जे एम ए एच ए एल एल इज एट एट पोजिशन ओके सो आउटपुट विल बी ताजमहल रीड इट अगेन वॉट इज सब स्ट्रिंग फंक्शन दिस वेरेकल पी एस इक्वल फंक्शन अलाउ एक्सट्रैक्ट सब स्ट्रिंग फ्रॉम स्ट्रिंग एग्जाम्पल सिलेक्ट सब स्ट्रिंग ब्रैकेट ताजमहल इन इंडिया वन कॉम एट सब स्ट्रिंग फ्रॉम डुएल आउटपुट विल बी ताजमहल ओके सो रीड इट अगेन एंड वी मूव टू नेक्स्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वेलकम इन सेकेंड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वॉट इज सेल फंक्शन सो द ओरेकल पी एस इक्वल सेल फंक्शन रिटर्न द स्मॉलेस्ट इंटीजर वैल्यू दैट इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू अ नंबर रिपीट रीड द डेफिनेशन अगेन द ओरेकल पी एस इक्वल सेल फंक्शन रिटर्न द स्मॉलेस्ट इंटीजर वैल्यू दैट इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिलेक्ट सेल ब्रैकेट थर्टी टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव कॉमा सेल थर्टी टू पॉइंट फोर नाइन कॉमा सेल थर्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो कॉमा सेल थर्टी टू पॉइंट वन जीरो फ्रॉम डुएल सी द रिजल्ट थर्टी थ्री फॉर फर्स्ट वन थर्टी थ्री फॉर सेकेंड वन थर्टी थ्री फॉर थर्ड वन थर्टी थ्री फॉर फोर्थ वन इन माई फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल सेल ब्रैकेट थर्टी टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव विच इज ग्रेटर देन फिफ्टी सो थर्टी थ्री सेकेंड थर्टी टू पॉइंट फोर नाइन विच इज लेस देन फिफ्टी अगेन थर्टी थ्री हाइएस्ट वैल्यू इन द थर्ड वन थर्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो ओके इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी अगेन इट इज थर्टी थ्री इन द थर्ड थर्टी टू पॉइंट वन जीरो थर्टी थ्री रीड द डेफिनेशन इट विल ऑलवेज गिव हाइएस्ट नंबर और इक्वल टू दैट नंबर सो विच इज द हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ थर्टी टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव थर्टी थ्री थर्टी टू पॉइंट फोर नाइन थर्टी थ्री थर्टी थर्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो थर्टी थ्री थर्टी टू पॉइंट वन जीरो थर्टी थ्री सो सेल फंक्शन ऑलवेज गिव यू द हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ गिवन नंबर रिमेंबर वॉट इज सेल फंक्शन और एकल पी एस इक्वल सेल फंक्शन रिटर्न द स्मॉलेस्ट इंटीजर वैल्यू दैट इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू अ नंबर रिमेंबर ओके सी यू इन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन what is translate function the third interview question what is translate function the oracle pl sql translate function replace a sequence of character in a string with another set of character however it replace a single character at a time means translate will replace your one character with another character see the example translate bracket 1 ora 2 3 okay in that we have to replace 1 2 3 with 4 5 6 so in the given string 1 ora 2 3 if you find character 1 2 3 you have to replace with character 4 5 6 can say it as a string okay so see the result 4 or 5 6 1 will replace with 4 2 will replace with 5 3 will replace with 6 so result will be 4 or 5 6 what is translate function oracle pl sql translate function replace a sequence of character in a string with another set of character okay it will replace single character at a time translate bracket string 1 i mean in which 
string you want to replacement string to be replaced which string you want to replace and replacement string by which string you want to replace so translate bracket 1 or 2 3 1 2 3 will replace will 4 5 6 result is 4 or 5 6 so practice it on your machine and we will move to next interview question this question is very very common question because we think this is small question we can answer it but it is not possible so the fourth most important interview question of PL SQL can you write written keyword in a procedure you know written keyword no we cannot write written keyword in procedure we can write only in function and that is most common difference between procedure and function written keyword only we can write into function not in procedure because function must have to return a value but procedure may be written or may not be written so the question is can you write written keyword in procedure answer no we cannot write written keyword in procedure we can write only in function okay we can move to next question oh my dear friends here is fifth question can you write function inside function yes my friends definitely we can write function inside function you know what is function there are two type of function system defined function user defined function system defined function is like sum max minimum average count that all is oracle inbuilt function and user defined function create your create your own function so in your own function you can write sum average count anything that is the function so can we write function inside function yes we can write function inside function another question question number six what are the type of exception handling there are two types of exceptional handling first system define exception second user define exception system define exception is nothing but which exception raised by oracle itself that is called system defined user defined whatever and which type of exception you want in your code at which line after which module you can define your own exception so that is called user defined so what are the type of exception handling there are two types of exceptional handling first system defined exception second user defined exception okay clear it if you have any doubt put in the comment part and i will clear it as soon as possible okay my dear friends see you in next question oh hello my dear friend the seventh question how to raise an error message in exception handling that means if there is any issue any debug any problem in your code then how will you raise application error okay so it is very simple you have one clause which is provided by oracle raise application error and whatever you want to raise masses while any issue debugging issue syntax logical problem everything it will be raised okay so just remember raise application error is a method to raise if is there if there is any error while running time syntax error logical error or anything okay read it once more and in later uh, section there will be practice question also there you will be more clear what is raise application error or what is exception handling and all okay so we move to next question oh hello my dear friends so our next example is what is regular expression count friends regular expression count is used to count occurrence of a character or a string or expression in another string okay for example you can take your name and you want to count how many a single character repeated in your name so for that there is one example select regular expression underscore count bracket Taj Mahal in India comma I from dwell that means in this example I just want to count how many times I repeated in this string Taj Mahal in India. So result is 3 because if you see I how many times 1, 2, 3. So just run this example on your uh, SQL window you will find definitely result 3. So can we repeat what is regular expression count? It is used to count occurrence of a character or a string expression in another string example 
select regular expression underscore count bracket Taj Mahal in India comma I from dual result will be three. Just try it on your SQL window. You will find the result three. Okay. Yeah. Next move. Next question. Question number nine. What is PL SQL table? PL SQL table is similar to one column database table. The row of PL SQL table are not stored in any predefined order. At when they are retrieved in a variable, each row is assigned a consecutive subscript starting at one. So remember, PL SQL table it has only one column. Okay, and they are retrieved in a variable. We select data from any table any query will insert that data into variable and from variable we can insert that data into PL SQL table there is no order by clause nothing it can insert data in any consecutive subscript which will be start at point one so it is clear what is PL SQL table PL SQL table is a similar to one column database table the row of PL SQL table are not stored in any predefined order it when they are retrieved in a variable each row is assigned a consecutive subscript starting at point question number 10 what is difference between PL SQL table and V array table first difference PL SQL table are temporary array like object used in PL SQL block v array are permanent array second size of PL SQL table is unconstant for v array we need to specify upper bound PL SQL table cannot be stored in a database v array can be stored in a database we can use negative index for PL SQL table but we cannot use negative index for v array in PL SQL table data need not be stored in a consecutive row but in V array are dense and retain their order while storing in database. Last one, we cannot perform DML operation on PL SQL table, but we can perform DML operation on V array. So this all the five, six most important difference between PL SQL table and V array. Remember, PL SQL table is one of the temporary array like object used in PL SQL block, but V array are permanent array and we can perform any DML operation on V array but not on PL SQL table. Question number 11. What is race function in Oracle? The race statement stop normal execution of PL SQL block or sub program and transfer control to an exception handler. Race statement can raise predefined exception such as no data found and zero divided. First one zero division. How it how it will call or how race function will call it because suppose you have one column which is divided by another column and division column has value zero at that time it will throw an error zero dividend okay no data found means suppose you wrote one query select star from table and in PL SQL and that table it does not contain any row at that time it will give you error no data found so we use race function there so what is race function in Oracle the race function statement stop normal execution of PL SQL block or sub program and transfer control to an exception handler raise statement can raise predefined exception such as zero division and no data found so number 12 what is raise application error in Oracle raise application error is a special built-in procedure by Oracle this procedure allow programmer to create meaningful error message for a specific application raise application error this is procedure which is created or built by Oracle itself or you can say it is inbuilt procedure by using this procedure a programmer or you you can create your own message for example if any number divide by zero then Oracle will give you error zero dividend but if you want to give some error message like this number cannot be divided by zero please specify some other number so you can give your own error message by using raise application error clear see you in that question number 30 this question is little bit important and it is logical also what is pragma in oracle okay pragma 
pragma is a special instruction to PL SQL. When you run the code, whether it is select star from table, whether it is big query, procedure, function, package, anything, when you will run this query, pragma is only one who give Oracle engine a way, a path or a instruction how to execute this query okay you are just writing a query select star from table name but you know how the query is processed this all processing the path the way to process that query up to give you output is all handled by pragma it is inbuilt oracle logic which give path to path to the oracle engine to execute your query so what is pragma in oracle a pragma is a special instruction to PLSQL code merge statement frames the word merge means it is merging data into table and how many way you can merge data into table either by inserting data either by updating data the, there is only two way to merge data insert data update data so merge statement used to insert new row update existing row in one show okay so for example merge target table using source table on merge condition when match then update the statement when not match by target then insert a statement when not match by source then delete the statement clear what is merge statement merge statement either insert new record update existing one otherwise clean it clean means just delete it so merge statement used to insert new rows update existing row in one shot for example if you have a table you want to insert and update at once for example if there is any data exist in a table then update some column of that row and if there is nothing then insert new row okay so there is syntax syntax in merge target table using source table on merge condition when match then just update it when not match by target then insert statement when not match by source then delete a statement remember merge merge statement is very very important in reporting of oracle things because there is there are, there are millions of record you cannot write insert statement for millions of record you cannot write insert update statement more for millions of record in that you use merge statement for that condition if it is matching just update some field if it is not matching just insert it clear okay see you next interview question in next interview question is what is difference between no data found and percent not found read it carefully my friends what is difference between no data found and percent not found see the name clear mention no data found that means if you run the query in a table and the table has zero record then that means there is no record then it will give you no data found and percent not found it is a cursor attribute so if cursor return no row then it will give the error percent not found okay so we'll see the uh, down description first no data found it is system defined exception when no row selected percent not found it is an attribute which use with cursor if cursor return no row then oracle give you error percent not found remember no data found and percent not found both are oracle define exception if you have a table which has zero record and if you wrote that table select a star from that table into any variable in a PL SQL it will give you no data found error and if you write cursor on the same table 
and if you call that cursor it it will give you percent not found so remember no data found exception will raise by oracle when there is no row in a table percent not found will given by oracle when there is a cursor without row if that cursor on the same table it's clear can we repeat once again what is difference between no data found and percent not found no data found it is system defined exception when no row selected percent not found it is an attribute which use with cursor if cursor return no row question number 16 if a table has named bench can we create function with the same name you understood what i want to say if you have a table name its name is bench can we create function with same name no my dear friends all name whether it will be procedure function anything table it should be unique if function name is bench you cannot create table name called bench if procedure name bench you cannot create function name bench so if table name has bench can be create function with the same name no my friend no can we write dml operation inside function yes definitely we can write but if we call that function in a select statement then it will throw error we can find output in, in pl sql block by assigning in into variable my friend function is only module in pl sql which we which we can assign into simple variable for example v underscore name equal to the function name we can write dml statement in inside our function but if we select that function in a select statement for example select name of the function from dwell then it will be throw error so but we can write that function in a variable it it will give you good output so question number 17 can we write dml operation inside function yes we can write but if we call that function in a select statement then it throw error we can find output in pl sql block by assigning a variable clear move to next question hello my dear friends question number 18 what is deadlock in oracle a deadlock can occur when two or more user are waiting for a data locked by each other it's called deadlock in oracle what is deadlock in oracle deadlock can occur when two or more user are waiting for the same data locked by each other for example you have same database and two users running same query or inserting same table or inserting into same table or updating same table so oracle resource will confuse what i will do first so in that confusion it will lock database that called deadlock in oracle that's why we usually say one user update one thing at one time commit then second user so there will be there will be no occurrence of deadlock what is deadlock in oracle deadlock can occur when two or more user are waiting for data locked by each other that is deadlock interview question number 19 why we write create or replace procedure instead of drop and recreate procedure you know when we are when we create procedure in pl sql we write create or replace procedure procedure name and rest of its body so question is that why we always write create or replace procedure instead of drop and recreate the reason is or the answer is that if we drop and recreate procedure then all grant permission synonym will drop then again we need to grant permission of read write drop modify delete dml ddl everything plus synonym of that procedure suppose one database in one database there are 1000 user who is uh, working on it uh, creating procedure defining its body definition etc if every time we drop and recreate then again again we have to grant all permission to that user that's why we do create or replace procedure 
so at least all the permission and synonym will be safe for each and every user now it is clear why we write create or replace procedure instead of drop and recreate procedure because if we drop and recreate procedure then all grant permission synonym will be dropped this is my personal experience because i did one time i dropped and recreated and in my team there are 10 member so everyone their permission synonym will be dropped then they they told me no never do such mistake always create or replace procedure i that from that i learned from my mistake okay so be careful with that okay move to next question hello my dear friends next question is what is trigger but before answer of this question let's think about one situation situation is that you were on road and you were walking and suddenly you realize behind you there is big lion so what is first things will trigger your in your mind run that is different thing whatever speed you will be run still lion will win the game <laughs> okay but the question is that trigger what will be trigger first second example if you want to withdraw some money from your atm machine once you withdraw money suddenly you will get a email or message on your telephone or on your mobile that things we called as trigger so what is trigger in term of ps sql or in term of oracle or in term of sql a database trigger is named ps sql block store in a database and execute implicitly when triggering event occur implicitly means it is executed by oracle itself okay second an act of executing a trigger is referred to as firing a trigger triggering event is a dml statement it means whenever you will insert data into table trigger will occur either insert update or delete whatever you will do with table triggering event will occur mostly we use trigger for audit purpose when you last login in the table what changes you apply what modification you did with table for all this knowledge we need trigger so can we repeat the question what is trigger a database trigger is named ps sql block store in a database and execute implicitly when a triggering event occur an act of executing a trigger is referred to as firing a trigger a triggering event is a dml statement insert update or delete and it is it, it will execute against a database table clear it is what is function a function that is stored in a database is much like a procedure in that it is named ps sql block that can take parameter and be invoked it means function should return output or function should return value this is the main difference between procedure and function remember procedure may or may not be written value but function must be written a value it is also like a, a store in database it is equal to you can say a procedure package or you can say it is a named ps sql block everything is a ps sql block only either it is procedure or function or package okay but function must return value as compared to this two okay so what is function the a function that store in a database is much like a procedure in that it is named ps sql block that can take parameter and it must return value that is function what is function named ps sql block it is stored in a database much like procedure it will also take parameter in parameter out parameter and it will return value and second difference is that 
we can call function in our select statement also but we cannot call procedure we, we are not able to call procedure in a select statement this is second difference okay let's move to next question what is cursor question number 22 cursor are memory area that allow you to allocate an area of memory and access the information retrieve from a SQL statement for example you use a cursor to operate on all the row of student table for those student taking a particular course having associate entry in enrollment table what is cursor it is a memory area that allow you to allocate an area of memory and access the information retrieved from SQL statement or you can say it is a name of big SQL query because in peer SQL if you want to play with SQL query you need cursor you cannot directly call SQL query in a loop or the query which has more than one row you cannot call that query in loop so for that we need cursor the context area clear see in question number 30 what is mutating table issue question number 23 mutating table for example suppose you have a tape one table on that table you have trigger and the function or job of that trigger is to modify of modification of table that means either update that table insert that table or del delete from that table okay and in the same table you want to fire DML statement means you updated insert or delete data from that table by using DML statement also and the same time there is a trigger on that table who is doing same function or same job at this time there is mutation occurred that's called mutating table issue okay so we can read this a table having a DML statement issue against it it is called mutating table for a trigger it is the table on which this trigger is defined if a trigger try to read or modify such a table it cause a mutating table error as a result SQL statement issue in the body of the trigger may not read or modify a mutating table that's it what is execute immediate statement question number 24 what is execute immediate statement generally dynamic sql statement are built by your program and stored as a character string based on the parameter specified at runtime it is important to note that this string must contain valid sql statement or pl sql block SQL execute immediate we generally use in PL SQL code if you want to execute any query or creation of table while running or execution of PL SQL block at that time we can use execute immediate statement this is basically used while creation of table okay see you in the next question what is cluster index first thing is that when you will create primary key on any table automatically cluster index will created in that table okay for example you have a table employee in that you have a column id and you want to create primary key on the column id whenever you create primary key cluster index will create automatically so what is cluster index cluster index determine the order in which the row of table will be stored on this and it actually store row label data in the leaf node of index itself okay can we repeat it once again a cluster index determine the order in which the row of the table will be stored on a disk and it actually store row label data in the leaf node of index itself 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 व्हाट इज व्यू इफ यू वांट टू क्रिएट एनी सिलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट एंड यू वांट दैट सिलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट फॉर रीड ओनली पर्पस सो एट दैट टाइम यू कैन क्रिएट व्यू व्यू इज नथिंग बट अ मिरर इमेज ऑफ योर एसक्यूएल क्वेरी सो व्हाट इज व्यू व्यू इज नथिंग बट अ सेट ऑफ एसक्यूएल स्टेटमेंट व्हिच जॉइन सिंगल और मल्टीपल टेबल एंड शो द डेटा हाउएवर view do not have their own data but point to the data okay now you can understand what is view view is nothing but pointing to or name of your sql query which retrieve data from two or more than two sql query or single sql query and display data clear what is external table question number 27 my friend if you want to upload xls file or csv file or text file i mean some your some data in notepad some data in excel some data in csv file if you want to upload that kind of file in your oracle table at that time we need external table so what is external table it is read only table which point to a file at os level os level means your window level you have to give path of the window and it will automatically upload your xls file csv file or notepad file so it is clear what is external table it is read only table which point to a file at os level invisible index is nothing but an index if you want to create on a column you can create but it is ignored by optimizer while running the query depend on the parameter but if you want to use that index while execution of your query or you want that optimizer should consider that index so you can do it just change your parameter and optimizer will pick the index while retrieving data from query so what is in, in invisible index invisible index are maintained like any other index but ignored by optimizer depend on parameter question number 29 what is nvl function so my friends suppose you have a column in that column you have value or row value is null but while selecting the query you want that null value as a zero at that time we use nvl function so what is nvl function nvl function is used to replace of null value in a column so whatever null value in your column if you want to replace is it with zero replace with a one any value you you have to use nvl function so what is nvl function nvl function is used to replace of null value in a column type of locks it is not lock on your door it is type of lock which is used in oracle the first dml lock and the second ddl lock you know the meaning of dml data manipulation language like insert update delete this all dml data manipulation language so you can lock D, dml okay like insert update delete on any table on any schema etc ddl create drop alter so second type of lock is ddl lock how many types of lock two types dml locks and ddl locks dml data manipulation language ddl data definition language dml insert update delete dml ddl alter create and truncate okay move to next one type of locks it is not lock on your door it is type of lock which is used in oracle the first dml lock and the second ddl lock you know the meaning of dml data manipulation language like insert update delete this all dml data manipulation language so you can lock D, dml okay like insert update delete on any table on any schema etc ddl create drop alter so second type of lock is ddl lock how many types of lock two types dml locks and ddl locks dml data manipulation language ddl data definition language dml insert update delete dml ddl alter create and truncate okay move to next one 
नेक्स्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन टू वर्चुअल कॉलम अवेलेबल एट द टाइम ऑफ ट्रिगर एग्जीक्यूशन विच टू वर्चुअल कॉलम अवेलेबल एट द टाइम ऑफ ट्रिगर एग्जीक्यूशन द फर्स्ट न्यू सेकेंड ओल्ड रिमेम्बर देर आर टू वर्चुअल कॉलम विच प्रोवाइडेड बाई ओरेकल वेल द टाइम ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ ट्रिगर द फर्स्ट वन इज न्यू सेकेंड इज ओल्ड एंड वेयर इट यूज एंड हाउ इट यूज विल सी लेट इन दिस डाउन इफ देर इज इंसर्ट रिलेटेड ट्रिगर न्यू डॉट कॉलम वैल्यू आर प्रेजेंट ओनली बिकॉज वेन वी इंसर्टिंग एनी डेटा वी हैव न्यू वैल्यू ओके we will insert only new value in the table okay and which value we, we we can delete old value so if there is delete related trigger old dot column name value are present only and for update related trigger both new and old column are present which two virtual column available at the time of trigger execution first new second old if there is insert related trigger न्यू डॉट कॉलम वैल्यू आर प्रेजेंट ओनली इफ देर इज डिलीट रिलेटेड ट्रिगर ओल्ड डॉट कॉलम नेम वैल्यू आर प्रेजेंट ओनली फॉर अपडेट रिलेटेड ट्रिगर बोथ न्यू एंड ओल्ड कॉलम आर प्रेजेंट डिफरेंस बिटवीन सिंटेक्स एंड रन टाइम एरर सिंटेक्स एरर कैन बी इजिली डिटेक्टेड बाई पी एस इक्वल कंपाइलर फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक सेमी कॉलन एक्सेट्रा दैट वी कॉल सिंटेक्स एरर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू राइट सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम टेबल एंड फ्रॉम लाइक एफ आर ओ एम एंड यू कैन स्पेल इट एफ ओ आर एम देन इट इज अंटैक्स एरर ओके आई मीन यूर कोड शुड बी प्रॉपर प्रॉपर क्लॉज प्रॉपर टैब सेमी कॉलन कॉलन एवरी थिंग शुड बी प्रॉपर इफ दैट इज नॉट प्रॉपर अरेकल विल गिव यू सिंटैक्स एरर ओके एंड run time error is handled with help of execution handling section in ps sql block for example select into a statement which does not return any value then it will throw say, uh, exception okay so we early also see what is exception handling so exception handling is the different part in ps sql block which take care of data uh, not present in table invalid data number of more row more than single row kind of things is all handled in exception handling section okay so what is difference between syntax and runtime error syntax error can be easily detected by a pl sql compiler for example spelling mistake semicolon etc runtime error is handled with help of exception handling section in an pl sql block for example Select into a statement which does not return any row. How many trigger can be applied on one table? Interview question number thirty-four. How many triggers can be applied on one table? On a single table, my friends, we can apply maximum twelve triggers. On a single table, we can apply maximum twelve triggers. This question is very very common interview question. Interviewer generally ask this question: How many triggers we can apply on one table? So how many? maximum of 12 triggers we can apply on one table okay move to next interview question what is important of sql code and sql l e r r m that mean error message so question is that what is importance of sql code and sql error message that mean s q l e r r m sql code return the value of the number of error for the last encounter error where whereas sql error message return the message of last error that mean sql code always return the number of error for the last encounter error it means the last error what will its what is its number like ora number 3456 that is sql code and sql error message message it is nothing but a description of what what is the error what is exactly error whether it is a syntax error a run ex, run time error execution time error etc etc so this difference is very basic sql code uh, sql code error written will return the last number encountered 
an SQL error message will return the message for the last error. It's clear now? Okay, we'll read it in a, in a quiet way. What is the importance of SQL code and SQL error message? SQL code return the value of the number of error for the last encounter error, whereas SQL error message return the message of last error. That's okay. We'll move to next one. What are cursor attributes of PLSQL? Friends, before answer of this question, we should know it. Cursor is one of the most important module in PLSQL or in Oracle because in many, many reports, mil that kind of reports which generate or retrieve millions of records in just a two minute, three minute or four minute, that all reports totally depend on cursor. Cursor with loop. It is one of the best combination in Oracle. Every report, every procedure, every package, if you open it, you will find cursor. So read it carefully. Okay. What are cursor attributes of PLSQL? The very first is open, second row count, third found, fourth not found, first is open means checks if the cursor is open or not. Is open means it this attribute will check whether the cursor is open or not. The second one row count. This cursor attribute will check number of rows that are updated, deleted or fetched. Fetched means select. Percent row count attribute will count number of row which are updated, deleted and fetched. Third cursor attribute percent found. It will check if the cursor has fetched any row, it is true. If row are fetched, percent found, it means it will check whether whether cursor has data or not. If cursor will fetch a single row, it will give you true value. Percent not found, fourth attribute, it will check if the cursor has fetched any row, then it is true. If, and if row are not, not fetched, then it is true okay percent not found if cursor give you zero row i mean no row then percent not percent not found will be true percent found will be true if there is there is a single row found by cursor percent row count the number of row that are updated deleted or fetched percent is open checks if the cursor is open or not please read this question very careful because this is very very important okay what are cursor attribute of psql block first one is open if cursor is open or not it that this attribute will check second percent row count it will just count number of row which is uh, updated by cursor deleted by cursor or inserted by cursor percent found it will check if a single row found by cursor percent not found it will check if there is no row found by cursor okay Next interview question number 37. What is uses of merge statement? Merge statement is used to combine multiple DML statement into one. What is use of merge statement? So merge is used to combine multiple DML statement into one statement that we call merge. Why we, we are using merge? Because if we want to insert, update, delete data into table in one shot at that time we have to use merge it, it is very useful in the term of performance tuning of query so remember the merge statement okay what is the uses of merge statement merge is used to combine multiple dml statement into one clear merge is used to combine multiple dml statement into one it is very useful in the term of performance tuning Interview question number 38. Select A from dwell. This is query, okay? This is not a statement. This is a SQL query. Select A from dwell, okay? Just run this query in your PLSQL uh, tool or SQL developer or PLSQL developer. You will find output as a A. We know what is dwell table. Dwell table, the table provided by Oracle which has one row and one column. So select A from dual means the output will be A. Clear? Select A from dual means the output will be A. Okay? Just run the query. If you replace A with your name, like select your name from dual, you will find output as your name. For example, select Narendra from dual. Then you will find the name Narendra. Clear? That is, that is the power of dual. 
you can do anything with dual okay this is very important table world term to calculate date with date with between your birth date to current date if you want to find year if you want to play with a date format to cal to string etc this table is very useful okay yeah just read it once again what select a from dual output will be a see you next question question number 39 select apple from dual in the previous question we saw select a from dual this question is select apple from dual see the output will be apple because we whatever we want to find or however we want to play with dual table we can play this table is totally for developer and i am repeating again this is very very important table remember dual table we can do anything any temporary solution we can do by dual table okay just run this query in your sql or ps equal to you will find the output as dual okay. question number 40 what will be output of willow query select one from dual union select a from dual one is a number so it has data type number a is a character string so it has data type where care okay so the query is select one from dual union select a from dual if you run this query it will throw error because data type is not same okay one is number a is character where can okay so please run this query in your sql or ps equal to what will be the output of below query select one from dual union select a from dual it will give you error because data type mismatch error okay run this query okay see the uh, error it is data type mismatch error yeah that's perfect question number 41 what will be output of below query remember this is same as previous question but in the previous question there there was union and here it, it it is union all our query is select a from dual union all select one from dual again it will throw data mismatch error you you can use union union all but data type is different so it will throw data type mismatch error a is a character string which has data type where care one is a number so it has data type number so you cannot take you cannot make output of character and number by using union union all or whatever okay so it will throw error Question number 42. What will be output of below query? Select A from dual, union all, select NARE from dual. So this is simple because uh, A is also character, NARE is also a um, character string. So it will give you output in the first row A and in second row NARE. Clear? Question number 43. How you find two row from dual? By default, dual table has one row, one column. But if we want to find two row from dual table, how we can find? It's very simple. Union all. Because union all will give you entire row of from both the query. So, so our first query, select A from dual, union all, select A from dual. Okay. So if you will run this query, you will find two row a a or what you will do do like this select a from dual union all select b from dual then you will find two row a and b okay so a a may be uh, not work uh, sorry i am a little bit confused in that but uh, you run this query select a from dual union all select b from dual you run this query definitely you will find two row run this query in SQL or PLSQL tool, tool. Question number 44. Will Willow query throw error? Select a star from dual. What you did analysis in this? Select star from. It is without any gap. Gap dual table. Okay. Output no error because select a star from. It is inbuilt functionality or you can say it is inbuilt clause by Oracle itself. But table, table, you can take either Oracle tables or table created by you. If there is no gap between select a star from and table, then it will give you error because table either your or Oracle inbuilt. Clear? So this query will run fine without any error.
क्वेश्चन नंबर 45 विल बिलो क्वेरी थ्रो एरर सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम द ड्यूल आउटपुट इट विल गिव यू आउटपुट रन दिस क्वेरी टू सी द रिजल्ट देयर इज दिस इज वेरी एंड व्हाट विल बी द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस क्वेरी से यस इट विल बी गिव यू आउटपुट एक्स बिकॉज़ ड्यूल टेबल हैज ओनली वन रो एंड वन कॉलम क्वेश्चन नंबर 46 फाइंड द आउटपुट ऑफ बिलो क्वेरी सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम ड्यूल इफ यू सी दिस क्वेरी देयर इज नो गैप बिटवीन एनी टू वर्ड्स लाइक Select star from dual. Continue statement. If you run this query, hundred and one percent, this will give you error because it should require gap between select star from and name of that table because select star from is a Oracle functionality or Oracle built clause. So if you write without any gap, it will work fine. But table table is created by Oracle or by you. Okay. then it need gap between first statement and between that table so this query will be give you error if you if you will run this query you will find the result what is use of trigger we saw why we are using trigger to maintain data or we can say it is it is kind of spy on your table who is playing with my table who is playing with my data if you want to know all the information just create trigger on that table okay so trigger is nothing but we can say it is spy of table like cia okay so what is use of trigger auditing of data to maintain log derive column value and store in new table implement complex security rules enforce complex business rule okay so repeat it again with me what is use of trigger the first one auditing of data second one to maintain log third one derive column value and store in new value fourth one implement complex security rule fifth one enforce complex business rule what is use of trigger auditing of data maintain log derive column value implement complex security rules enforce complex business rule that is trigger which two virtual column available at the time of trigger execution yes which two virtual column available at the time of trigger execution the first one new second old there are two virtual column which is available at time of trigger execution okay new and old for example if there is insert related trigger then new dot column name value are present only okay and if there is delete related trigger then old dot column value are present only for update related trigger both new and old column are present so can we repeat which two virtual column available at the time of trigger first one new second one old so if there are insert related trigger then new dot column value are present only and if there is delete related trigger then old column name value are present only for update related trigger both new and old column are present read this carefully this is very very important interviewer ask you directly what is virtual column you have to just explain two virtual column new and old find the output of below query question number 49 declare begin select star from dual and what will be the output of this query any idea find the output of below query declare begin select star from dual and what what will be the output this is a simple query select star from dual which in which is in the declaration execution section of pl sql block what will be the out the query will not run success because there is no into clause in between begin and if there is any select statement between begin and end block then we cannot use star directly we need in into and some variable in that variable will store selected data from table okay so this query declare begin select star from dual 
it will not work it will not run successful we have to use into and name of some variable in that variable we store value from selected table now it is clear if you run this piece of code you will come to know what is the result question number 50 find the output of below query declare begin null end this is execution block of pl sql in that execution block we just write null now we have to check what will be the output so if you see right hand side this query will successful compile because there is null between begin and end clear so this piece of code declare begin null end if you run this in psql compiler it will run successful because at least there is some value between begin and end the value is null clear question number 51 find the output of below query declare begin where where care to bracket one end if you see in this piece of code we declare one variable where inside begin end but there is no no value nothing we are assigning nothing into that variable so declaration only not required begin end is the execution block of pl sql in that at least we have to give some value if nothing at least we have to give null at we can not only declare and without any value without any value assigned to that declared variable we have to give we should give some value inside executing block of pl sql okay so if you see in the explanation part it will throw error because there is no value nothing inside execution block so please run it on your machine you will find error player question number 52 find the output of below query see the piece of code declare where where care to one assign equal to one this means in the variable where we are assigning value one begin where again we are assigning value one end if you run this query it will work fine because in the executable block of psql we are assigning some value we are giving some value to variable so it will run successful clear if you want you can write dbms output dot put underscore line where and run this piece of code you will find output as one hi friends question number 53 find the output of below query declare id number is a variable with data type where care to in which we will give value one now we will see the execution block which is inside begin and begin id number equal to a remember id number is a variable with data type where care to so we can give number as well as string or character also so id number equal to a down dbms output dot put underscore line in bracket benchway.com where we can learn concatenate id number end okay then think about for a minute what will be output of this query think for a two second okay we will see next what will be the output okay if you see in the explanation part the above query will run successful with output benchpay.com where we can learn because variable id is declared as varchar2 so it will accept both number and character so please execute it you will find the same result question number 54 find the output of below query declare id number it has data type number which has value 1 now we can see execution block in begin end begin id number equal to a dbms output dot put underscore line bracket benchway.com where we can learn concrete id number okay and if you execute this piece of code it will give you error because of data type mismatch because we declare variable as number and we are assigning character in that variable that's why it will give you data type mismatch error okay so run this code on your machine and you will get output as data type mismatch error question number 55 find the output of below query declare id number where care to 100 we will give value 10 in that id number now this is a execution block of psql begin if id number divide by 100 then dbms output dot put underscore line bracket benchway.com where we can learn concatenate 
ID number end. What will be the output? C. The variable ID number has data type varchar2. So it can take both string as well as number. So if ID number divide by 100, which is true, 10 divided by 100, it is true. So it will compile successful with the output benchpay.com where we can learn because variable ID number has value 10 and we can divide 10 by 100. Now it is clear. See if variable has data type varchar2 then it can accept both string as well as number. Okay. And in this is very basic condition 10 divided by 100 then print this and it is true. So it will compile successful. Question number 56. Find the output of below query. Begin end. This is executable block of PL SQL. If you just write begin end, press F9 or try to run, it will give you error. Because there will be something inside between begin and end. If you give null and you double end, it will run successful. But you have to give something inside begin and end. So if you see in the explanation part, this will throw error because we cannot write compile block in this way. After begin, any block or any variable or any function or null should be required. Correct? Question number 57. Find the output of below query. Set server output on begin dbms output dot put underscore line bracket benchpay.com where we can learn. And if you see in the explanation part, it will execute successful with output benchpay.com where we can learn. Because dbms output is nothing but who print masses on screen. And this is inside begin and end. So this query will run successful and it will give you output also. Question number 58. Find the output of below query. Set server output on begin. If 1 equal to 2 then dbms output dot put underscore line bracket benchpay.com where we can learn else dbms output dot put underscore line bracket benchpay.com new way to learn and if exception when other then dbms output dot put underscore line bench pay end. If you see this piece of code, it is clearly mentioned if 1 equal to 2, 1 equal to 2, no. So it will go in else part and it will print benchpay.com new way to learn. It will print else piece of code. Clear? Question number 59. Find the output of below query. Set server output on begin null. dbms underscore output dot put underscore line benchpay.com where we can learn exception when other than dbms output dot put underscore line bracket benchpay end. If you see this piece of code dbms output dot put underscore line benchpay.com where we can learn this string inside between begin and end. Okay. There is one null but null will not create any impact. It will not make any impact. So this query will run successful with output benchpay.com where we can learn clear execute this piece of code on your machine and you will find output hello friends question number 60 what is replace function it is PL SQL function which is replace a sequence of character remember it is replace a sequence of character by a set of string you can see below example select replace 1 2 3 bench pay 1 2 3 from dual in this 1 2 3 will replace and output will be bench pay so there are 1 2 3 4 5 5 example you can say it is homework for you just run it on your sql or psql developer and you will find the result clear we can repeat once again what is replace function it is PLSQL block which is replace a sequence of character by a set of string. Clear? What is package? So I will tell you package is a bundle of procedure or number of procedure, number of function or single function, standalone procedure, PLSQL block, loop, cursor. That means in a function you can write entire PL SQL module or sub program. Now we'll see the definition. What is package? Package are a schema object that 
group logically related PL SQL type variable and sub program package will have two mandatory parts one we call package specification and second package body or we can say it is definition clear what is package package are schema object that are group logically related PL SQL type variable and sub programs a package will have two mandatory parts package specification and package body or definition question number 62 how to write package specification so you can see below is the syntax of creating package specification and remember if you created 10 procedure or if you write 10 procedure in package specification then you have to write same number of procedure in package body also if 10 function in package specification then same number of um, function in package body also clear it is so you can see the syntax and just write one example in end there is there will be a video in that video i will show how to write package specification and package body question number 63 what is package body package body is nothing but in which you can define all the procedure function sub module query bulk collection cursor variable each and everything you can de define in package body so below is the syntax of package body you can see here how we write create or replace package body name of that package as inside some procedure begin block exception block and end so if there are 10 number of procedure in package body it should be same equal in package specification if there are five function in package body it should be it must be declared in package specification also now it is clear what is package body it is the collection of sub program procedure function cursor each and everything hi question number 64 what is syntax of procedure so you can see here create or replace procedure name of the procedure parameter name in out in out type is as begin procedure body and procedure name so this is the uh, syntax for a procedure in next we will see how to create procedure okay with example and all but this is a standard syntax of procedure there are three types of parameter in out and in out that means one parameter can be in second will be out and one can be in out both is as before begin or uh, before declaration we need to write this is as and begin after that the begin end is nothing but a execution block of PL SQL. so everywhere like whatever it is procedure function package we need that begin and block okay see you the next you can see here in this example how to create a procedure so it is like create or replace procedure name of that procedure is greetings as begin dbms output dot put underscore line in bracket hello world and slash so if you run this procedure it will give you output of hello world clear question number 65 how to execute procedure from plc call block so it is very simple question you have to write execution block of PL SQL in which you can execute procedure so begin name of the procedure which you want to execute and slash just run this piece of code it will execute your procedure and if you write set server output all then then it will give you output whatever you wrote in your procedure so it is very easy question how you will execute procedure from PL SQL block begin name of the procedure and slash just execute it this it will give you output question number 67 what is syntax of function so we can see syntax of function create or replace function name of the function parameter in out in out type return return data type is as begin function body and function name my friends there is difference between function and procedure difference is that function must return value if you see in this syntax there is a clause called return with its data type if you see in the procedure there is there is no return keyword kind of thing or no return clause but function must return a value so because of this difference you can call function into your variable into your select query also but 
you cannot call select uh, procedure in a select query or in a variable this is main difference between procedure and function here is the example how to create a function so create or replace function name of the function is total employee return number is sum is the variable whose data type number and it has value 0 begin select count star into sum from employee return sum n slash clear so sum is my variable in which I am retrieving data of total number of count from employee and and that sum I have to return as a out so this way you can create function question number 68 how to call function in PL SQL block declare C number bracket to begin C equal to total customer dbms underscore output dot put underscore line bracket total number of customer concatenate with C close end so if you see total customer is a function which we created somewhere else but we assigning the value of that function into our variable so how to call function in PLSQL block declare C number begin C equal to total customer bracket dbms underscore output dot put underscore line bracket total number of customer concatenate with C where C is the variable so whatever return from function it will assign into variable C and run this piece of code it will give you result now next we will see the video how to create function assign function into variable procedure creation package creation